lovely people of Pilot Mountain and the surrounding areas. We are at the library, Charles H. Stone Memorial here in Pilot Mountain. And although we are still um, not doing live programs where you can come and visit us, we are doing this program here <coughs> virtually. So you can enjoy, enjoy us from the comfort of your home or wherever you may be. We have with us today, Candle Firth. Um, and these wonderful musicians are gonna share some of their music, but also some wonderful um, information about all kinds of things that go with it. So I hand it over. Okay, thank you very much. We're pleased to be here and uh, looking forward to just sharing a little bit of what we do with, with all of you. Uh, I have to first introduce this lovely creature to my right. This is Susie Candelaria and uh, Hello. my lovely wife, and I'll let her introduce the lovely creature to her left. <laughs> um, I don't have a mic, but uh, Just talk real this loud. is my darling husband, Randy, who is my inspiration in life in all ways, and how beautiful that we share this traditional music with one another. It's, it's a passion of ours, it's a joy of ours, and uh, next to just playing it, the best thing is sharing it. And uh, so that's why we're grateful for this. This COVID-19 has had us locked up and put away for the past four months. So this is really our first coming out performance. And so we're really happy to be here. Uh, we play primarily Celtic music. And that means music coming from Ireland or Scotland, Wales. Uh, primarily, and there's other places too, but a lot of this music was transported over here many hundreds of years ago and has taken root. So we're going to be playing a lot of music from Ireland. I don't think we're doing any Scottish tunes today, but maybe in a future performance down the road we can do some. I might do something on the pipes a little later on. Uh, we're going to start out with a number. This is a reel, but, but before we get into the reel, which will feature Susie on the flute, uh, I'm gonna do a little uh, introduction on a recorder. A recorder is this little, little flute-looking thing that I have here. And probably some of you have learned to play these things in school, and then you probably tossed them in the closet and thinking, I'll never do anything with it. Well, let me tell you, go get it out, because it's amazing what all you can do on a little recorder. This little thing has opened up so many doors for me, and laid the foundation for music that allowed me to kind of pick up other instruments along the way. So anyway, we're gonna start out with this tune. Uh, the uh, recorded tune is gonna be Battle Call of the Fianna, and then we're gonna go into the Abbey Reel with Susie on the flute. <clears throat>
people watching with us now. Oh, wonderful, Lovely. wonderful. And uh, folks, don't hesitate. If you have any questions, you just uh, key them in, and uh, they'll be read out to us, and we'll try to answer them. And if we can't, well, we'll fake it. You know, we're, we're good at that. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Susie, what's next? Star of County Down. Star of County Down. Let me just point out real quick, this, this particular instrument that I'm playing here, this is an Irish bazooki. Irish bazooki obviously comes from Ireland, and uh, it really gained popularity in the 1960s. It was kind of based loosely off of the Greek bazooki, uh, but it was adapted for Irish music. And uh, it's been a mainstay of Irish music ever since. So you're looking at a, actually a medieval style Irish bazooki. Let me go to my instrument tree right here and get the guitar. I'll be right back. Don't go away. This next tune features Susie on the harp, as you could probably tell, and this is, this is a Celtic harp as opposed to one of those huge orchestral harps, but it's used uh, principally in folk music. The harp, by the way, is the national instrument of Ireland, and it's featured on the Irish flag. And uh, this next tune is called Star of the County Down. Uh, this is all about uh, someone who spots a young lady who who catches his eye and he's determined he's going to make her his own. Make him her right. Yeah, anyway, uh, you'll get the gist, gist of it. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Star of the County Down. Thank you. 
All right, let me stick this back. Lisping Varna. Lisping Varna. Lisping Varna. Mm -hmm. All right, the uh, next tune, actually it's a series of three tunes, and when you're at an Irish session, and a session usually consists of being in a bar somewhere in Ireland, and a bunch of musicians getting together and playing all the tunes that they know. And generally they play sets, S-E-T-S. -E and a set can consist of anywhere from two to three to four to five tunes just strung one after the other. So this is a set of tunes featuring two jigs and a reel. And uh, the name of the first one is The Road to Listoon Varna which is the name of a town in Ireland. Uh, the second one is called O'Keefe's Slide, and a slide actually is a type of a jig. And then the, th the third one is a reel, and it has one of these strange Gaelic sounding names that I could never wrap my tongue around, so I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Uh, but I'm gonna be on the uh, fiddle, or the violin, it all depends upon where you're from, I guess. Uh, we're gonna talk about the difference, because I. I get asked that probably more times than anything. What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? The quick short answer is that there's no difference. But it primarily refers to the type of training that you had. If you had formal training to play in an orchestra, playing classical music, then you play a violin. If, on the other hand, you learn from your Uncle Jake and you play in a string band, you're playing a fiddle. Uh, basically, fiddle is folk music of any type. It could be bluegrass, old timey, it could be uh, Irish jigs, that sort of thing. That's all considered to be a fiddle. And I have a traditional looking fiddle right here. You've probably recognized this thing. This is what we all know of as a violin or a fiddle. Now I'm not going to be playing this. I have, I used to play this a lot, uh, but then I got all fancy. And now I play an electric fiddle. Not only is it electric, it, it seems to be missing its body. But not only is it electric, it has five strings instead of the four strings that a regular fiddle has. And this gives me an extra low string so I can just play it almost like a bass if I wanted to. And this, uh, the, the advantage to electric fiddle, by the way, is that I can run this through a, an effects board and I can get all kinds of effects. I can get delays, I can get reverbs, I can get... Uh, overdrive on it, you know, I, I, I can get a lot of that distortion on it, but I don't usually do that. Usually I just go for a nice touch between delay and reverb and uh, some sustain in it as well. So we're going to start off with the road to Listing Varna. Let me make sure this thing's okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, thank you. And uh, don't forget, if you have any questions or anything, you can post them right here, uh, and we'll get to them. <clears throat> and anything in yet? No? We have some beautiful comments and some love and oh, some okay. likes, but no oh, questions. Gosh. <laughs> thank you, folks. Um, let's see, what do we have next? For we have Morrison's next. Yes, I'm thinking, man, why don't you do a harp solo? Mm -hmm. I would love to get Susie to do a harp solo for you guys. Uh, this is just, you know, I have the advantage. I can hear this all day long, and it's just like, you know, and an angel has descended into the living room and is just playing these lovely, lovely strings here. Uh, <laughs> truly, I really get emotional. But uh, Lark in the morning. Uh, the tune she's going to play is Lark in the Morning. And one thing that's really curious about Irish music, I know she's ready to get jump right in there and then I open my mouth again. But one thing that's really curious about Irish music is, is the name of the tunes. And of course it's a lot, it's a very difficult to try to pin down where the titles came from because there's some really weird titles out there like the old, like the old hag that had killed me. You know, I mean, that, that's pretty bizarre. But um, Lark in the Morning is a tune and it's actually several tunes because at, at one point I think Ireland ran out of titles and so, so they started recycling them. And so there's actually several completely different tunes called Lark in the Morning. Just like there's several different tunes, completely different, called Toss the Feathers. Uh, it's like, you know, they can't agree, you know, which one is the first or authentic tune with that title. But this is a lovely tune and we're going to turn it over to Susie. Take it away. traditional Irish tune. It's not a traditional Scottish tune. It's a traditional Kindlefirth tune. This is an original tune that uh, we came up with. And there's a story behind it. The title of the tune is called Little Mushka. Mushka is a little kitten that showed up uh, at our place one evening. We happened to look out the living room window and there was this little tiny face sticking in there and uh, 
this was obviously a lost kitten, obviously a, a, a feral kitten. Uh, but uh, I told Susie, go out there and get her. And Susie went out there and spent some time, you know, talking and cooing and trying to get the little kitten to come along. And the kitten came, came to Susie, and uh, that was the beginning of Little Mushka. Uh, one peculiar thing about our little Mushka was that she had this peculiar little squeak. Uh, it wasn't quite a meow. It was like a cross between a meow and a squeak, like a cross between a mouse and, and, and a cat. Um, and it sounded something like this. Something like that. It's just a little, little squeak. Um, and it was most peculiar because we'd never really heard a cat make it such a unique sound. But uh, I was messing around on the mandolin and I started coming up with this tune and I thought, well, let's see if I can incorporate Mushka's little squeak. And so that's how the tune Little Mushka came to be about, um, featuring Little Mushka. Okay. <laughs> played on a mandolin, by the way, which is just a uh, different, it's, a, it's similar to the fiddle, the violin, and it's tuned the same way and in the same size. And actually, I learned to play the fiddle by playing the mandolin first, getting the fingerings down on the fretboard, and then transferring it over to the, the fiddle. Uh, lots of ways to go about learning an instrument, but the best way, you know, if you don't have someone to teach you, to show you, is just pick it up and start playing with it, just noodling with it. Uh, always, always a good start. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes or two minutes? 15 minutes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just like I play an electric fiddle, I also switched over from traditional Highland bagpipes to electronic bagpipes. Why would he do that, you're asking? Because I felt like it, okay? But uh, <laughs> short of that, uh, when you get to be in an advanced age like myself, you know, you, you're, you, you don't quite 
quite work the way you want to and, and it really playing the bagpipes takes a lot out of you and these are so much easier now this is Henrietta I named her Henrietta uh, there's a, a couple of children's books about Henrietta the goose and I thought that uh, this kind of reminded me of a goose and I even put googly eyes on the goose I don't know if you could see that it, uh, but that's Henrietta uh, Henrietta is capable of uh, playing actually many different styles of bagpipes and there, there are many types of bagpipes uh, there's of course the, uh, uh, the the highland bagpipe that most people associate it with it but there's also a uh, spanish bagpipe there's an irish war pipes as they're called and also the irish inland pipes and throughout europe and africa and asia the bagpipe is not a stranger but they just take different forms so it, it's capable of, produ of reproducing uh, several different types of bagpipes. I can adjust the volume. I can also put it in different keys if I want to. The only thing I need to remember is keep fresh batteries in it. do another jig and this is going to be featuring the Irish bazooki and this is a well-known jig called Morrison's jig. I don't know who Morrison was but he had one heck of a jig. Or maybe she had one heck of a jig.
All right, uh, we're going to end with a reel, one of our favorite reels. So this is a real reel. Um, this is called Julia Delaney. And I need to get a little bit of water first so you can watch me blow bubbles in my cup. Ah, they're disappointed. Okay. All right, Julia Delaney. that about wraps it up and uh, we want to thank you for for sharing this time with us and maybe they'll have us back sometime yes. if we pass the audition I'm just kind of worried and worried about that <laughs> but uh, <That's> so silly. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's dangerous to put a mic in front of me that's all I can say but uh, thank you all stay well stay healthy and support your local 
public library. They do a lot. And uh, you, are you open for business? Yes. So um, if, if you don't mind still being on camera while I talk, um, <laughs> we're social distancing here. So I'm staying on the other side of the camera. Um, but this is Diane speaking. And um, we have reopened in a limited capacity. So you are all welcome to come see us at the library for any of the books you might like, but also for using a computer or for getting papers copied or faxed or any of the services that we normally offer. What we are asking is that people wear a mask when they come inside. We're limiting the number of people in the building and we're limiting the amount of time. So you can come visit us for only 30 minutes a day. Um, so, but we do welcome everybody to come back and we're of course still doing our summer programs, this virtual type of programs, plus we have outdoor activities and um, craft packets that you can pick up weekly if you wanna register, just give us a call or stop by or send us an email. So uh, we thank Campbell for so much for being here. This was a wonderful, wonderful event and we definitely will ask them to come back. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. thank you.